All right, going into the Bay Area Card Show here in Clearwater at Banquet Masters. Uh, let's see what we can find to look at. Do any good? Any Wimbies? Uh, of course she did. <laughs> There's Keith's wall of wax. <laughs> Talking about him opening up some product. He's always got his cards laid out. They are in alphabetical order. And he's asking to please keep an order. So if you're ever looking for like specific players and maybe not like crazy cards, you can definitely just pop in here and just, you know, look through these. He's usually set up at the Tampa show and the uh, Clearwater show for sure. And then uh, also the St. Pete show. So he's pretty much at the three main shows as long as they're not on the same weekend. So Jackson here pops pretty good. I like it with the purple actually. What else do we have in here real quick? Jack Ham, no relation. He's almost as good as me. I have two M's. He only has one, so it makes me better. <laughs> just kidding. Don't hurt me. It's Joe Namath. He looks like he just got out of bed. <laughs> and then you got Anthony Richards in here on the Blazers. Love price. Again, I always like to show some pricing. Give you an idea of what people are asking for certain things. Especially stuff that's hot right now, like shrouds. Um, I'm going to look around and see if I see any optic uh, singles floating around. A lot of people are getting them and just grading them. So I don't really know how that's going to... I'm going to find any. I know he sold out of all of his Optic yesterday. So he had 100 boxes and they're all gone. So Optic, 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 guys. All right, some really nice cards here. Herbert, Burrow, Herbert. Let's show you some nice cards, guys, here. Pretty much good grades on these as well. I really like the way this uh, Mahomes looks good. It's a good looking card. The only thing it's missing is some uh, hollow foil there. And then that card really pops hard. And what else do we have? Guy's a big Seminole fan, big Yankee fan. So you end up seeing a lot of that in showcases as well. Brock uh, Purdy here pops pretty hard here on the red. It blends in with that table. It almost looks like a see through card. Uh, this card I actually saw online. I thought it was really cool. There was another one they did with Duper and Marino as well. Uh, both on cards, so that's fantastic. That's, we like to see on card stuff. Maris there and he's petted. Again, he's got nice stuff. Lose so a triple relic here out of Wallace. I'm not sure if it's game used or not. And then you have this standard uh, Peyton and Allen. Isn't it funny when you see cards like this and you're like, yeah, I you know Allen's great, but like, man, the have just been one other person. Emma Smith or somebody that just changes the game. Jim Brown would have been perfect. It's nice up here, here with this Julio. That big majestic tag, really nice. A couple of nice Yankee greats. I haven't seen these cards before, but uh, Bernie and Jorge Posada here, both on card. Uh, got a nice Quentin Johnson over here, uh, two of 10. Out of 10, I think he's going to be a draw towards the national once football season really starts kicking in, simply due to the fact that Herbert has nobody else to throw to right now, and uh, he instantly has become the number one. So we're going to see how that plays out. I've actually bought a couple Quentin Johnsons myself, as I think that's a good play going into the national. That's kind of under the radar, but his prices are still holding up. A couple, like I said, some Yankee stuff here that he's got. I get Hideki Matsui. Big old giant Jeter thing. I've showed this once before, way in the past, but I'll show it again. Nice Spencer Jones stuff. This is going to be that next Yankee stud coming up. I think he'll be back up again this year uh, for them. Uh, he's a power hitter. He's huge. He's just a big guy like Judge. And uh, lots and lots of power, I think, with him. And uh, uh, the Martian coming back. I don't know why his name is skipping my brain, but... It is, but he's got a lot of Spencer Jones, guys. Ready to roll for the uh, call-up again. Dan, you got to watch his auto, too, because his auto a lot of times, you know, this one's kind of streaky. He presses really hard when he signs, so that's something to uh, think about. ECG here as well, um, guys, a little spinny wheel thing. Um, there's been guys every show buying TCG, especially a lot of Pokemon and One Piece. So uh, if you like that stuff, it's here. I mean... Gotta come get it. Nice Jackson Holiday here, nice and clean. I know a lot of time his auto can get streaky, so you gotta be careful with that. Nice Volpe, he's got really nice cards here. Look at Volpe right here. He's a big boy too. He's turning out to be a stud, so get him while you can, people. Get him while you can. <laughs> this 
it's already too late. Nah, it's not too late. No, not too late. He's dipped a little bit, so yep. now everybody's down on him. Now everybody pauses. They're like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Like we're waiting for Junior, Junior Kim Nero here to get called up and start doing his thing. Really nice Jason Dominguez here out of Trinity, guys. That's really cool. Also, we have a little LeBron Braun up here at the top as well. I'm not sure what those are. And just show you highlight. But in case you do, there they are. What else did I see down here? It's also some other nice cards. Early baseball, James Wood. I got another one of these too. I like this one right here with the bat showing. On the Dominguez, that's really cool. Appreciate James you. Wood again right here. A couple Bobby or Bobby Whip. I saw another one. Go figure. Really here, nice I stuff. Looking, I was looking at Graham. It's another. It's, it's a, a couple nice purple too. too. Him and James Woods and Robert Hassel. A lot of guys. People are sleeping on some of these guys that were in 2020 and 2021. Nice baddie right here too. Oh, X Men comic here on the 96. On uh, number 11, always love this uh, cover. Everybody loves this cover, but a bunch of other fun stuff here, guys. You don't have to uh, come here for cards. You can come here for Funko Pops. There's a bunch of autograph stuff back here, too. So that way you can kind of get an idea. But you can come here and find a bunch of other things. There's a few other comic books mixed in here. I'm not going to cycle through them. But uh, these little mini pops, too, they're popular. And then a lot of tins that they got. So you can always come in here and get kind of like retail style stuff as well. There's a really fun Mike Tyson here, and then uh, Kane West Taylor Swift card. I still think that should be more of an iconic card uh, with the two individuals in it. You know, one real crazy, one normal crazy. And then we have Charlie Sheen here. I've seen a lot of his stuff with Leaf popping up. Uh, they're doing a decent job with it. There's a couple other cards I'd wish I could see. You got the uh, gold here on the Geno Smith explosive. I think these are slept on quite a bit, these explosives. Be on the lookout for those two. Mark Jackson Ultraviolet. It looks pretty cool. I wish it had a little more hollow to it. Like, blow it up a little bit. And there's Trask here on the Jalen Darden. Darden doesn't even play for the Bucks anymore. Drew Brees on the heater. What else we got? Mike Williams just scanning through here real quick. Oh, this uh, Joe Theismann up here looks cool with the Nike uh, swoosh on it. That's actually really cool. Uh, let's see what else we got over here. Light green. All these young guys in baseball are really starting to come up that you have to pay attention to if you're a, a baseball fan. It's funny right there with the uh, Jordan logo on the team or whatever it is. What does that say? Glove? Yep, glove. That's cool. Cool, right? cool pack of football cards, I guess, or it's got one card in bubblegum. What year is that from? You know what? I don't know. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I bought a group of stuff from a guy, and I have not researched it. It's 50s. I know that. No, oh, that's cool. That's just one card, right? Uh, well, it's not, it's not a little... Yeah, some of these new Bowman cards out here. Just getting to see one of these in person here. These anime. Why? I mean, why don't these have a holographic look to them? That's my problem. Look, there's no holographic look. We freaking hollow everything. This car would look a thousand times better if it was holographic. Even if it was just holographed behind for the action. So I call that a fail, my opinion. Larry Bird, Joe Namath, throw in the ball, baby. What else do we got here? Look at this monster. Kaboom, CJ Stroud in the nine gold. Jesus, please. Lamello Lamel Ball in a gold, too. And then this Stroud over here, Alan Ginter. Um, I still feel like this is a very underrated card. Uh, just because of the way you can get autograph cards out of a licensed or unlicensed product. I don't know. I just feel like that one has a lot of upside. These are bigger cards here we're looking at right now, too, guys. Josh Allen Gold. Come over here. You got Ja. You got Caleb. They've had that since, I think, the last show. They haven't moved it. So when that happens, you're either priced too high or you don't want to sell it. So that's the way I look at it. Which I understand. Always love this holographic version of uh, Nike checks and the logo mans that fall into these immaculates. Uh, personally, I like immaculate over um, uh, like national treasures, I like flawless better as well. Got some Wimbies down here popping around as well. Kenneth uh, Walker here on the black with the Olave as well. These are one of one black stars. Those come out of full sets, so they guarantee one black out of a set. Um, so, and obviously they open a couple sets. Dad's cookies, Gary Cheever's here. From Boston. Is this, this is for you, Eric. 
So you can say I didn't, I looked for a card for you. Here you go. Here's the Chivas. And then down here they also have uh, Lacrocs for Philadelphia. That's cool. A residential guy here that has all the Disney stuff and the old vintage cards here. He's got a $10 each on the closeout. And then a bunch of stuff bundled up here. If you're looking for three for 20 in there, all right, you got a discount on those today, guys. Three for 20, but again, he gets all these uh, Disney cards and this vintage type uh, different stuff. Um, actors, actresses, stuff like that. I've shown it before. I always like to show it again just to give you all an idea and show you there's some consistency for certain people at certain shows as well. That one's actually a lot of fun right there. Yeah, what's one? That's the rarest you said? That's the, the top one. Uh, the rarest. Oh, that's because it's a Jim Min 10. Yeah, Min 10 5000. There you go. What's that go for? 5, five Gs. 5? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's great, man. Just to point out, that is a Charlie Chaplin uh, autograph here, guys. On, on the PSA DNA certified. Oh, there you go. But he has 5K for the Chaplin, and the uh, Mickey is also 5K as well. Very cool, guys. How have you been? Pretty good yourself. Good, just working a lot. You know, the normal. <laughs> it is what it is, right? Yeah. How are y'all doing today? Good. Good. What was that? Uh, he wants it. How are you doing today? Good. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. never know what you see at the show, guys, so you gotta come out and look. That's a really, really nice card. Another Steph Curry, guys, <laughs> the gold one. Really nice as well. I got, like, I think it's Chet Holmgren up here from Panini One. Uh, never sleep on Panini One. It's a pain in the ass product to rip, but uh, if you get the right guy, it works out. Okay, there's a couple big Wimpy cards as well, too, to give me all an idea on uh, what stuff's going on. I haven't seen this one before. That thing's crazy. Cherry Blossom. Crazy. And a nice Delon card as well. And then Clark uh, siding as well for the uh, Prospect Auto Refractor. It's really nice as well. JK's awesome uh, collectibles is always here as well. So, uh, in case he has this uh, to a tag of Aloha. All the way across. What else has he got floating around? He's looking at a deal over there, so I don't want to jump into his main case, so I'll just show this for a second. Give you an idea what we got going on. A couple of strouts here, just base stuff. This gives me an idea of uh, kind of starting points for 10 graded stuff. Here's a nine on the prism as well. Uh, he's got 60 on for the base. So over here at JK's Awesome Collectibles, um, he always keeps it very clean. So, you know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, guys just throw shit around. Um, but yeah, just clean stuff. You can come in here and look through some of these cheaper cards. That one. Oh, that Mac Jones, I think. Yeah, uh, Bailey Zappy. But that way, you know, Kenny Pickett, 40. Yeah, and there's some of these guys that if you're looking for certain things that are sleepers on, you might get a chance. You can look at it. Really nice uh, cut of bug die cut here, guys. That's actually really cool. I don't think that's a bad deal. You know, it's an eight. Nice Stroud. Look, and he's, he's got nice cards usually in here. So, the Wayne Wade on the Kaboom as well. Sertain on the Gold. We've got a little on here uh, for 2003 Tops. What else do we have as we move down 
line. We've got a nice vinyl messy here, the leaf product here. Two color uh, jersey. See, I get jaded Come down. Brady Optic Stars. Tani on the downtown. The is 35, 40, 35 uh, to 40. So what else we got? That's what they were just talking about, the Montana uh, here. Like and then uh, Pop 50. 1 here with the uh, dual pack. Oh, yeah, they here we got Pele and Mia Hamm. She does have two M's, uh, and she is better than me. That's soccer. I don't know. I don't even what know. What else do we got up in here? Listening to a conversation. Kabooms, guys. Kabooms are all the rage. Uh, the kabooms in downtown, so they're around. Uh, they're not cheap, but uh, people have them, and that has been a uh, thing people are buying here. Um, I did talk to a guy who sold all it is. I guess if the price is right, so I want to move it. Um, especially if you're doing stuff for comps. Uh, some guys put them out kind of for show and they keep them at a high price just to kind of lure you in a little bit. Try and look for uh, stuff you may have to trade for. I got a silver uh, Herbert Auto here as well. And you got the silver PSA 10 non Auto. Fun stuff. A couple of the prospects here, guys. Tamar Johnson here for 125 out of 150 Auto. Actually, really nice. Not a Bowman first, so keep that in mind. That's why it's so cheap. <laughs> and what they have down here, Vortex. Card kind of lights up as you come down to it. Got a nice look to it. Neat. Now this Chris Godwin here, and I look over, and there's a Jim Brown. Not graded, raw, 200. I don't know if that's a great, good price or not, but I like to show it. That way people get an idea. Coming down, got a Soto here for 125. Come up, and you got a OJ here, rookie card for 75. We were uh, looking at a Carlos's video, but he was talking about these cards in the 70 are not licensed, yet we refer to them as rookie cards. And yet we complain that a non-licensed card cannot be a rookie card, yet football for basically a decade had no license. Crazy. A couple nice Jordans here. This one's numbered. I don't see too many numbered Jordans floating around anywhere. And, uh, it's funny because it's got both uh, the Wizards and the Bulls logo. So I'm assuming it's just a card from one of the Michael Jordan sets. And Kornikova here as well. It's always nice to see her. And a couple Strouds rolling around. Uh, it's all out there, guys. Nah, they don't want to make it easy. They don't care my, about the my card. My luck is they'll, they'll be the big card in here. Go open up the Bedard up. pack, uh, where it's just Bedard cards. This is what we're talking about. A couple nice cards here. You got a uh, Herbert uh, Shock. Uh, got a Brady rookie here for 125. Again, raw stuff. The uh, Camara. What else do we have floating around? You got a CGC 10 on this Brady out of 199. Uh, Jordan Team Squad card there, Brady. Don't see that ever. St. Slow here for Dustin. I always like to show the wax, especially the more older vintage and or, if you want to call it vintage, I don't know, 80s and 90s are now vintage. Uh, but Flair, I love Flair. I loved opening Flair. Still expensive. <laughs> uh, but again, I like to show you some of these older boxes and packs real quick just to uh, get you an idea. Um, what they're roughly going for to show. I know a lot of times you can look at it at online and it's anywhere from 10 to $15 cheaper. Uh, but you gotta calculate um, if shipping's involved and tax. Cause here you pretty much pay a, a flat fee. So gotta keep that in mind. But I'd like to show you what might be available if you showed up here. Um, he's been putting out a lot more of this older wax. Especially, I know the basketball sells really well because people are always chasing anything with a Jordan in it. Uh, whether it's insert driven or not, um, they're always looking for it. So, it's what it is, but there's the idea because there's a couple more if you look up here. So, if you don't have a price on that one, which I'd be very curious. Got a couple of these lockers, got a Bowman's base, best baseball. Uh, we got a prism mega box over there. Got a little ding in the top of it, you know, that usually means a winner. And then uh, 1993 basketball where you get the gold, collector's choice, the upper deck 3D hollows, and the ultra. Beat up Seaver rookie here for 20 
five and then a uh, older Nolan line as well. I'd like to show some of that. Jeremy Jockey, he was great when he played. Kind of weird that a lot of people don't collect him. Uh, what else did I see? It's all a jaw up here in green for 45, just to give you a price point or something like that. And I noticed over here the uh, Holland Panini 2019 for 125.99. I always tell the classic guys cases because of the rubber band still. Uh, it's just, you see him, you're like, yep, I know what's going on here. Basically, they're stacking. Put usually the better card up top. Plus, this is a guy you know has all the old cards you can go through and look for cards for your sets. So, you know, we always have one of those usually at this show for sure. All right, uh, Ovechkin here and a Crosby out of SI for Kids graded as six. Um, I don't really ever see those, to be honest, floating around at a show. And then we got a couple other uh, cards. I'm going to show you a fake Jordan card here. This is a fake Star 85. So how do you identify it as a fake? I mean, for the most part, that one there is a card stock. You can feel it. Okay, it's a feel. I mean, everything else is, is really close. Yep. Other than the picture's a little blurry. But the card stock gives it away. Okay, good. I just wanted to ask. Other vintage cards here, non graded, that are nice to look at. Got the Ben Rookie as well. A couple of yogis. Actually, a few yogis, not a couple. I'd like to show a couple of them when they're raw floating around with some prices on them. Like somebody bought a Clemente that used to be right here. Got this one 506 for the uh, 57. A couple of cards here from the 60s here, and a lot of people like Clementes. Everything in this case is Willie Mays Clemente mostly. We'll come up here to all the Clementes as well. He pops up in the show from time to time. Um, I feel like it's like every other show or every two shows. Yeah, you Comes out. He's got a lot of uh, nice vintage graded cards here. Cards that people like to collect, upgrade, and look for in their sets. It is. It is. Nice mantles here, guys. Again, he always has some really nice vintage. Um, some tickets as well. Jackie Robinson PSA DNA right there. That's really cool. And then he's got these unopened packs, which uh, I watch JRI on uh, YouTube that opens up vintage packs and what he charges per spot. And again, it's their their deal. It's not not against nothing against them. They do a very good job, uh, but people are playing for chances, and you know. Sometimes I just feel like they can buy the pack themselves versus just even a spot. I'm uh, showing some more vintage here too, but the uh, older packs, people are buying and opening them. They're not sitting on them. Uh, just because the ability, the availability to, if you get good graded cards out of a pack and they're not the key players, they still sell extremely well for registries. Older cards. Give me a little vintage love here. It's a nice Schmidt. I don't know. I saw a guy that just sent a Schmidt rookie in to get an autograph to his, like, whatever his address is. Uh, and he got an auto pinned, and everybody's dogging him in the uh, comments. Like, why would you send that in? Because it basically just got ruined. But yeah, there's a little vintage, guys. 2019. Good. How are you doing today? I remember chasing this card pretty hard back in the day. I do have a Bryce Harper auto. I have the Chrome, but this, I remember the paper when it first came out. That was kind of the first thing, one of the cards we were chasing, especially at retail. Some other cards, real quick, in the case. Just give me an idea. He does a good job of putting some labeling on them. Let's see what else is in this next case. There's a little bit of off sports stuff. Anything? Johnny Bench auto there. I do love this older Fleer great set. Um, yeah, I'd like to rip a box of what I really like to do, but it's kind of expensive to get in there now. Just obviously, like every other box, uh, you have to take a LaMotta um, boxing auto. You don't see that very much. Fran Tarkin's in here from the Immaculate Inc. as well. Keep it moving. Nice, pretty nice uh, Trevor Lawrence here. Big cards, guys. Uh, 
team we have uh, out of the uh, rookie teams here out of Optic, the Stroud. I don't know what those are going for at the moment. A lot of people are getting a little confused when they're opening the packs because it looks like a downtown, and then it ends up being that, which has a lesser value but still is very popular. Some nice capable of showing the packs as well. Some logo, man, the Aaron Fox. If you notice, you're not seeing a whole lot of, uh, or any of, Ant-Man right now, Anthony Williams popping out. So, very interesting. People are holding those back. And uh, I'm going to show you this really nice Brady coming up here. Look at the, look at the gold Brady right here out of the uh, Vintage Elite. I love that. Really nice. I'm assuming this is a dual auto card because this is the back, not the front. I'm assuming maybe Drew Blood says on the other side. And then check out this uh, Michael Irvin 24 karat gold and a 9. That is just a really nice hard rare card. I mean, the PMB is rare too. I think I've shown that before in the past. Oh, here's an Ant-Man down here. No price on it. So, uh, probably uh, to the eye of the beholder right now is how that's pretty much going to run. Come down to a couple Kobe autos as well. Gianna's black label. I've been showed that in the past. Kind of bounces around some cases here. Good stuff. Some nice vintage draw here, guys. Mantle here. This is obviously the, the new Bowman that we were looking at earlier. It's what it's uh, mimicking with the animation. Give you an idea what the original looked like. A bunch of fun stuff in here. I really like this Mookie Betts here. That's a one of one uh, black. Here, and you got an OJ rookie auto as well with the uh, inscription on it. Peyton Manning, Lemieux. And a bunch of and this, uh, that's a tough card to get right there here out of the uh, Duran. Look at that old FCC label. And a 98, baby. It's a big boy. Yeah, big old no, Joe Namath. I love this John Stockton here. Uh, my range that I'd be willing to go at, but it's really, really, really nice. And a couple of Ant-Man here, so you get an idea of some pricing on some of these cards. Recent too. That's cool. Yeah. Really cool. And the uh, Donuts, Kevin Garnett. And a few more vintage down here, guys. Uh, Great stuff, like so you get an idea of some pricing. Thank you, sir. This David Robinson I'm going to show you here. looks really nice. This is really nice with the Gretzky. Just uh, all these? I'm working on it. Mario, not Mario, Messier. There, that's that was a nice uh, Robinson there too. Wilk the still. I pay him fair. I do too. A lot of those prices are good stuff. Like one of those dudes. Carrie Fisher here on the century. And we have a uh, Tessa Thompson here on the uh, one of one uh, vinyl. I believe that's a one of one. Aaron Judge Sterling. This Pujols wall is really nice looking card as well. Felicity. And then for any of those people that like to collect uh, some TCGs, and just do a little roll here so you get an idea of some pricing on some cards. In case you care. Everybody likes a little bit of something different. History book, record book, doesn't tell me much there. Alright, back down here. There's nice bread. Like Piazza. Gunnar Henderson Masterpiece. It's a 101. On the uh, super fractor, Tani here leaves. So that might be one of the cheaper autos you can get. I know it's off card, but you uh, know how his stuff's gone. Uh, Adley Rushman. There's a uh, seven wonders on the Otani as well. Jackson, Jackson Cheerio, Jackson Holiday here. Looking pretty good on some nice cards. Nice big auto on that uh, Holiday. I like it. Reggie with the uh, auto rookie. And a couple uh, key rookies of uh, more modern players that'll be in the Hall of Fame. Nice Yogi Bear here, I really like. The 810? I always like this old certified stuff. You guys are good. The 810? Um, Langford and the Acuna the, are really There's nice. one on bids right now, that's five days left, it's at 400. Oh, there's an Ellie, the first Ellie auto. Hey, what's that? Are you interested in any of it or no? I'll tell you, I'll Tracy's keep looking. Great. Okay, yeah. as well. What's up, Daniel? Anthony Edwards here on the Collegiate. You don't like soccer, right? A couple right? of Reds guys here with uh, Eric Davis and Barry Larkin. Uh, you should be on the floor. There we go. We got a Luke up here on this uh, hollow silver. Really nice stuff. And we got an Ant-Man over here coming up with the Red. That's out of eight. Eight? What's that go for? 5K. That should. Fun card right here. Revenge of the Creature. Basically, uh, 
uh, one of these vintage cards here. This was the 1980s. I always like seeing stuff like this. This is fun. Guys, we were trying to play name that price on this card because we have no idea what it's worth at the moment. It is out of five. FOTL too. And it's in great shape too. Uh, but man, that's a big card right now, especially with what uh, Amian's doing and what Lamelo's been doing. Uh, getting better. This has a very, very big upside. Seven hundred dollar card.